Physiological Indicators as a Tool for Monitoring During Hiking Today we will learn on how to analyze physiological indicators such as heart rate, rate of perceived exertion and pacing, associated with moderate vigorous physical activities, to monitor and or or adjust participation, and also understand the importance of monitoring physiological indicators while doing recreational activities. Physiological indicators are physiological parameters that you should consider while doing physical activities such as heart rate and rate of perceived exertion. 1. Heart rate Heart rate or pulse is the number of times your heart beats per minute. Normal heart rate varies from person to person. Knowing yours can be an important heart healthy gauge. In getting the pulse, Lightly press the index finger of one hand on the opposite wrist, just below the base of the thumb. Count the beats in 60 seconds to get the maximum heart rate during exercise or physical activity. Take note of the formula. 220 minus your age equals maximum heart rate. Example, 220 minus 16 years old equals the maximum heart rate up to 104. 2. Rate of Perceived Exertion Rate of perceived exertion is how hard you feel your body is working. When you are exercising your heart beats faster, your breathing becomes faster and deeper, you work up a sweat, and your muscles begin to tire and complain. R, P, E, or the rate of perceived exertion, is a scale used to identify the intensity of your exercise, based on how hard you feel or perceive your effort to be. The RP scale typically runs from 0 to 10, with 0 being literally nothing, and 10 being the hardest you could possibly exert yourself. Now that you understand how physical activity affects the heart rate, we will explore how hiking activity affects the heart rate, and identify your rate of exertion. John and Sam both did the hiking activity for 45 minutes. These are the result of their physiological indicators monitoring after the activity. Who has the normal maximum heart rate? What is the RP scale of John? What is the RP scale of Sam? Who among of them can't go on for a more intense activity? Why? Answers Number 1. It is Sam who has the normal maximal heart rate. John's RPE scale is 10. Sam's RPE scale is 7 to 8. It is John who can't go on for intense activity because his heart rate is beyond or greater than the maximum heart rate, and thus he felt like impossible to keep going. You have learned and perhaps explored about how physiological indicators monitoring contributes to your recreational activity participation and understand the importance of preparedness in participating to an activity despite of health or fitness issues and concerns. Hopefully, when you are going to participate in a recreational activity, you may be able to apply what you have learned from this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.